हेलो मेरे प्यारे न्यूटन हाउ इज़ एवरी वन आई हैव गॉट अनदर ग्रेट सेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड दिस सेशन इज टू स्ट्रिंग प्रॉब्लम वेर एज मल्टीपल पुली एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड विद टू स्ट्रिंग्स एंड वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज रिलेशन बिटवीन ए बी एंड सी देर वेलॉसिटीज देर एक्सलोरेशन सो दिस इज प्रिटी सिंपल एंड ऑल दीज सेशंस विच आई एम ब्रिंगिंग इन द लेवल ऑफ सीरीज इज स्पेशली फॉर दोज हु वॉन्ट्स टू बिल्ड देयर फिजिक्स स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली टू द हाइस्ट पॉसिबल लेवल बी इट जेई एडवांस लेवल बी इट ओलम्पियाड लेवल एंड आई होप यू आर गेनिंग कॉन्फिडेंस एवरी एवरी सेशन बाई सेशन सो इफ यू आर गेनिंग द कॉन्फिडेंस प्लीज गिव मी अ थम्स अप एंड शेयर दिस सेशन विद एज मेनी फ्रेंड्स एज पॉसिबल सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस सेशन एंड आई एम एक्सट्रीमली एक्साइटेड आई एम आनंद प्रकाश को फाउंडर ऑफ वेदांतु एंड आई लव टीचिंग फिजिक्स एंड स्पेशली द इंटीग्रेट कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ फिजिक्स so what i am going to do is break down the concept into steps and three simpler steps and if you follow these sim three simple steps you will be able to find any uh, relation between va vb vc in multiple pulley problems so what we have to do is we have to find the relationship between the velocity of a velocity of b and velocity of c so these three are blocks a b and c we have to find the relation between va vb and v, vc so what we'll do is there are steps and we'll start with step 1 and if you follow these steps trust me even the most complex problems you can solve very easily so what we'll do is step 1 is you have to actually first find or mark all the fixed position so this is a fixed position we'll mark this this is a fixed position we'll mark this so mark all fixed position so this is the first step i hope everyone has got it and why we are doing is because this can be treated as origin and this i did one problem uh, last last time on this constraint motion in which there were uh, let's say there is this block which was connected by a pulley and this was connected to another block this was connected to a pulley and this was connected to some position so in this particular question also what i did was i started with one fixed origin right so we have to mark all fixed position because that will uh, that will treat as origin now step 2 step 2 is you have to mark all moving parts so mark or locate mark or locate all moving all moving parts so this is also simple what are moving parts here a is a moving part so we'll mark this let's say i call this as xa and because this is origin i'm marking their position like this and in fact this is the position but okay it's fine uh then we will mark c clearly now c is attached to this pulley which is moving and whatever is the motion of c is the motion of this pulley center pulley center of this pulley and therefore i can mark instead of c i can mark this so i will mark this let me just take this and i will mark this as x c okay so this is the position of c now we have to mark the position so here uh, i have all uh, in the second case this is a fixed position so let's mark this as one position so we'll call this as let's say d pulley and i will mark this as d okay i am marking this position as a fixed position or, or moving position and this b i will mark x b so these are four moving parts a b c and this d pulley and we mark locate all moving parts so this is also done now step 3 and the last and most critical step in this case what we are going to do is we will go and find the relation between the string lengths so what we have done uh, find relation between fixed length fixed length kaun sa which uh, fixed length of the string right so string and 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 variable so and variable is x a x b x c and x t so these are the relation we will have to find so first we'll actually go and let me just change this color we'll take this 
so this is the first string this string moving from here till here and till here so this is the first string going over the pulley going over the pulley so this is the first string so i will call it length one this is fixed length and we have to find the relation between the variable so how can i find this one part is xa let me write down xa now this part is xc till here so i will write down xc and this part from here to here is this length xc minus xd minus this pulley right so i will say this is xc total length uh, till this position minus this particular length which is known to us or which is marked here in this case so this will help you therefore this point is very important also step 2 is important because you are marking all moving parts plus of course constants and what are the constant this length is a constant this length is a constant okay so these are the extra length which is always constant which is moving over the pulley so that is all constant now differentiate it obviously we'll come to that in the fourth step now moving to the next pulley or next string so here this is the string this one is the string moving over this pulley from here moving over this pulley over here and this is the second string so how will i write the length so clearly i will mark this position this is also a fixed position right this is a fixed position and above this this length is a fixed or a constant length so i can say l2 the second string is 1 2 times xd so clearly this position and this position between that i can say 2 times xd plus i will have to mark this length this uh, already i have marked till b so xb i will say and the rest is constant because this length and this length is constant so i will say this is constant now moving to the last part which is step 4 step 4 is simply differentiate so i will say differentiate so what it will do is all constant will become all constant its differentiation will become equal to 0 so clearly from the first equation i will get l1 as 0 differentiation of this length is 0 which is equal to va velocity of a plus twice plus twice velocity of c xc plus xc is 2xc so velocity of c minus velocity of d and this will also become equal to 0 so this is our first equation the second is l2 it's a constant equal to 0 plus 2vd plus vb and then 0 so what i will do is i will multiply if I, I have to remove this vd why i have to remove this vd because the relationship is only asked between a b and c and d obviously is a pulley which is moving and we don't require this velocity so i will remove this so i will multiply the first equation by 2 so it will become 0 is equal to 2 va plus 4 vc minus 2 vd and this will become 0 is equal to 2 vd plus vb and adding i will get this this gets 0 so overall i will get twice va plus 4 vc and plus vb is equal to 0 and this is what i will get as the final final answer and see students it's very and it's very important to follow these four steps because if you are following these four steps clearly you will never ever commit any mistake so what we have done is we have broken down this complex problem into four simpler steps and if you follow first you have to mark and you have to find the fixed positions it can be ceiling it can be pulley it can be anything which is fixed because you are defining every length from that particular position the second is you will actually mark all all moving parts everything it can be block it can be pulley it can be anything which is moving so any part which is moving you have to mark it the third step is you have to find the relation between the fixed thing which is length in this particular case and in most of the constraint problem cases you have to find the relation between the length 
and the variables and here in this case xa xb xc and xt are variables which is changing with time and then finally you have to differentiate it to remove all the constants because constants differentiation is equal to zero and variable differentiation will lead to either velocity or acceleration so that is how in four simpler steps you will find the relation between a b c and d whatever is asked here d is not required so you don't require you just remove it so you'll find the relation between all moving blocks i hope everyone has got it give me a thumbs up if you like it share it with as many friends as possible so that uh, everyone gets the chance to learn something extra something uh, more than what is being taught in a very concise manner and in our next sessions we'll be actually solving problems of this multiple pulley cases so till then see you bye bye take care i am anand prakash signing off bye bye take care love you bye bye